Another day, another wife beater for me. Look at that. Just another wife beater. Just some just some guinea living in North Carolina. Reviewing Ranger games. What do I know? <laughs> what do I know? What do I know? I don't know. Ah, uh, double upload today. Look at you guys. I mean, look at me. Look at everybody. Look at, look at the world. Look at the world. Oh, God. The life of a Rangers fan is not an easy one, man. All right, let's talk. Let's, let's, let's chat. If you saw my overtime reaction, you already know what I think, thought about overtime. So we're not going to talk about overtime. We're going to talk about just what happened. Also, if you're considering going to med school, don't. Unless you're really smart. Because I'm not smart. I just had to go to med school. It's hard. Struggling in chemistry. Chemistry for majors. It's not fun. Calculus sucks even more. So yeah. College. Do yourself a favor. Invent something. Or marry somebody rich. Or just be born with rich parents. Do one of those things. Just don't... Just, just find a get-rich-quick scheme. Save yourself. Save yourself the stress. Be done with be done with school after high school. Just be rich. Win the lottery. Do something. Just do something. Don't be like me. Just don't. Unless you're smart. If you're smart, then, then, then do ambitious things like going to med school. If not, be free. Fly. Fly, fly. Be free. Be free. Anyways, we got a hockey game to talk about. <laughs> what a great game. <laughs> Go down 2 nothing in the first period. 2. James Van Rien, like squeaks one right through Kincaid's stinky, fishy five hole. Yeah, I smelt that from here. Like a used prostitute was so fishy. It was gross. It was a good move by JVR, but gosh, that five hole was so and then Provorov scores a seeing eye shot. Now listen, I won't fault Kincaid on the seeing eye shot. Good screen in front of the net. Really did not get a good look at the puck. We got a seeing eye shot the other day. Gonna come right back at us. Then Panarin scores in the second period off of a brilliant feed from Tarmo Reuninen. Beautiful. Then Blackwell scores off a beautiful feed from Panarin. And then Goche goes, Screw you, Shane Gosses Bear. I'm gonna drive the net and then stuff a backhand so hard on your goalie. That even Spittin' Chicklets calls me Lay Goat. And then Joel Farabee says, screw you and your penalty kill. I don't care about your stats. I'm going to go top titty smitty and just play some bar music on Kincaid with like a minute left in the second. And then Rune Dog goes top titty in the third. I don't know how had maybe, maybe it's Gosses Bear because Howden dummied him. Got the puck to Lemieux, and you got it to Rune Dog, and Rune Dog went just sniper Rooney. Sniper Rooney, how about that one? And then, of course, on a penalty, penalty kill just decides, you know what? Third best in the league. Not, not today. We got a Matumbo commercial tonight. No, no, no. Not today. Not in my house. No. The Rangers' penalty kill today was no, no, no. And Drew says, you on a give and go with Voracek. Oh, speaking of Voracek, he scored. We out. We were outshot. We were out face offed. We were out special teamed. We out hit them. They out blocked us. We had less giveaways. So, you know. Let's talk about ice time. Yeah, that was kind of deserved tonight. Eight pims for Goche. Not a good look. He's probably gonna get benched for the next three months. <sighs> Stroman the dot twenty two percent. Howden forty. Heedle. 29. Dare I go on? Just a tough look in the dot tonight, man. Listen, I don't know what's going on with Lafreniere. Okay? Because he has moments where I'm like, damn, this kid's good. And then he has moments where he looks terrified. He seriously looks just horrified of making a mistake. Just, like, like, he honestly looks like his life is on the line. He's so afraid of making a mistake. And that's not good. That's not good when you have a prospect that is so afraid of making a mistake that they they just tamper their own play. I've been saying this for months. I said this last year. I'm saying it again this year. The rookies look afraid. That is not good. That is not good. Not good at all. But anyways. Lucky for us, Jacob Trouba played 27 minutes tonight, and unfortunately, he was noticeable every minute, and not noticeable in a good way. Albeit better this year than last. Truba skates 
like he is 4,000 frigging pounds. You could take Fat Bastard from Austin Powers, put him on skates, he'd probably be Truba in a foot race at this point. And I'm not talking about the subway end of Austin Powers 3, Fat Bastard. I'm talking like Mr. Roboto, Fat Bastard, breaking the zipline folk. Like, slow. Just slow. And he can't turn. Like, he's like literally turning a tugboat. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe he's listen. Maybe he's just not trying as hard, which I find unlikely because Truba is a pretty fierce competitor. I'd like to think he's mean sob, but he just looks slow, just slow. And how come Ryunin played less than nine minutes? I thought he looked pretty good tonight. I didn't really. I didn't see any mistakes. I just feel like you're down your best defenseman. What is the point in rotating five D men? That's what you do if there's an injury mid game, not like at a big moment. I guess you know when you need points. When you need points, you rotate your six defensemen if you have them. This is the guy that plays Johnson over 15 minutes a night consistently when he's in the lineup. And you take a young player who had a beautiful feed to Panarin on his goal, by the way, and actually looked like he was having a pretty good game to that point. And you're like, you know what? Nine minutes. We'll play Truba 27. Something he hasn't done, I, I don't think, ever. I don't... I don't. You tell me. At, at this point, you tell me. Because I, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. And I, f- I feel bad for Kincaid. Because there are moments where Kincaid's like, wow, this kid's pretty good. And there's other moments where it's like, hmm. No wonder he didn't get a win for two years. Oh man, it is a, being a Ranger fan is just a roller coaster of emotions. There are times where they're playing like, damn, this is a playoff team, and then like within the same breath, it's like, God, we suck. I don't know. This this rebuild thing has just been an absolute absolute nuke on my emotional state. I I, I, f- I feel like I'm I'm back in puberty again, and I just don't know what to feel anymore. I don't. I feel bad for my girlfriend. We've been dating for six months now. She lived 19 years of her life, 19 years of her life, not knowing what the hell hockey was until my jerk face comes along and ruins her life and makes her a Rangers fan. Now I'm getting texts. I'm getting FaceTimes. I'm getting calls during the game where, you know what? It's actually kind of interesting. Like, like the purity of an innocent hockey fan where it's like, how does one team look so good for so like for a period of time and then look like they just eat shit? A minute later, I, I, I ruin I ruin my my Lent giving up cursing for Lent. By the way, if you haven't noticed, it, it's it's amazing to see the development of a young hockey fan. I say young, just a new hockey fan. It's like God. It's amazing how good someone can look and then how bad they can look a minute later. And that's the emotion she's going through now. And I'm trying to I'm trying to coddle her and prepare her for this, but she just wasn't ready. And I I literally I I birthed the hockey child into almost the worst animal ever. I would have been better off making her a Red Wing Red Wings fan because at least then she's prepared to suck. Not like, oh wow, we're good. Oh, we suck. We're good. We suck. This is this is like like bipolar disorder. I, I am ruining a human being at this point. I, I should be in jail. I should be in jail for creating a Rangers fan right now. I should be. It's just on a psychological level, what I'm doing to her is criminal by making her a Rangers fan. But you know what? Damn it, we did it. And she is. I, God bless her. She she made it this far. Download the NHL app, changed her back. I will not plug in my piece. Dare tell me to plug in my PC. God bless her. She made it this far. I think she's more committed than I am at this point because there are times where I really want to throw my remote out the window and hit my neighbor's cat. I don't even think my neighbor has a cat, but I might adopt my neighbor a cat just so I can throw my remote out the window and hit the damn cat. Oh, man. Happy Monday, everybody. Happy Monday. I have nothing left to say about this game. I don't know. It's I hate losing. I hate losing. And also, Howden's first game back in the line, he plays more than Kako. What? 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 And you know what? What? What the hell is going on? Am I taking crazy pills? It's too late for this. I, I took three exams today. I took two chemistry exams and a calculus exam today. I have another calculus exam tomorrow. What am I doing? I'm watching hockey, unfortunately. Would have been nice to squeak a win in there. Just like, excuse me, I'm going to just win this game real quick. But no. <laughs> no. No. Actually, no. We're actually going to lose. In overtime, too. I'm 21, so I can drink now. So my my my, my binge drink at 10:46 on Monday. That might be the plan. Don't drink, kids. Stay in school. 
unless you win the lottery. Then get out of school. Live your live your life. Have a good life. Don't listen to me. Go to school. Get a career. Go to school. Go to school? I don't know. Make money. Live better. Make money. Just make money. Just make money. Invent something. Invent something. Just do. So. I'm done. I'm going on too long. Listen. Just if you're gonna take if you're gonna take anything from this Inception, if you're gonna take anything from this video, it's this. Make make money, or like win the lottery. And if you get a significant other, or you meet a human being in the world that's interested in hockey, don't make them a Rangers fan yet. Not yet. Unless you really are just like me, you're a scumbag. You just have no emotions. <laughs> you don't feel bad by, you know, the whole misery loves company thing because I'm miserable being a Rangers fan right now. And I'm not miserable. I'm miserable from the lows and the highs just being like this, like a freaking EKG. I'm just, you know, just roller coaster of emotions. So if you're, you know, make a Rangers fan, don't make a Rangers fan. The world's your oyster. <laughs> Hockey Rangers. See you guys next time. Thank you. I didn't even understand what I said that time. So if you understood it, damn it, you do not need hearing aids. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Ah. <sighs>